In this video, I am demonstrating how to measure value of acceleration due to gravity by using pendulum. Okay, for this lab, you need instruments like meter stick, timer, simple pendulum device, supported and table clamps. But uh, all these instruments are available in virtual mode. You you don't need something physical. So before starting this lab, let me explain uh, how to calculate value of z and what it is. The value z, which is acceleration due to gravity, is the uh, gravitational pull towards the center of Earth. Okay, so this value is different for different planet, but it is constant. This is the constant for a uh, particular planet for Earth. It depends on the uh, place to place, but uh, you know, we, we take as a constant in general, which is 9.8 meter per second square. Okay, so that is the acceleration value of acceleration due to gravity for Earth. Right here, you can see the formula for finding acceleration due to gravity. This is small z is acceleration due to gravity, and this is length L, which is length of the pendulum, and T is the period. Okay, so T is the period. What is the period? Let me illustrate here. So if you have a pendulum, pendulum is simply a, a, a bob suspended by a massless string. And if you displace it, what will happen? There will be oscillation, right? So that oscillation will swing to and pro. And the period is time to go from this point to this point and come back again here that we call capital T, which is period of oscillation, okay? So length is this length, okay? Length of the pendulum from the top this point where uh, a string is suspended to the middle of this bob, right? So this is L. So we know what is L, we know what is T, and we, we know this is the target variable, right? We have to measure this value, Z. So to measure Z, we have to measure L and T. Our goal is measuring L and T. Let me show you how we can measure those. Okay, so to find, to measure Z and, uh, I mean, T and L, here is the link given, you can click on it. You will be, you will see this, this window, and then you can click on the third option, which is lab, double click here. And if you need ruler, you can uh, just click on, these options, ruler, stopwatch, and a period. We don't need stop, stopwatch, so I'm not uh, clicking on this one. And I need this period, period measurement system and this ruler, okay? So right now, uh, right here, you can see length. You can set off the length. You can make as little as you want, 0 0.1 centimeter, or you can increase as you wish, right? This is 0 0.5 meter, 0 0.7 meter, and up to one meter, okay? Right here, mass is one kg. We don't have to change the mass, keep it one, one kg throughout your, your experiment. And if you go down here, here is the gravity. If you click it, if you click on the moon, this is acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon that is our moon okay there are other different moons of different planets and if you click on jupiter look at here this value is changing which is 24.79 meter per second square but we are uh, planet x i don't know right and we have to set up for earth which is 9.81 meter per second square okay set earth here and right here if you set like some friction there will be damping the meaning once you set off the oscillation of this pendulum the energy will be disappeared that is the dissipation of energy that we call damping okay so to uh, reduce damping to stop damping 
we have to set this friction to none. So setup is complete. Now you are ready to take data. Okay. So to take data, first make sure click on this so that it will measure create. And first of all, set off the length or uh, read this manual. According to this manual, first thing is you have to set off length as 0.5 meter, right? After uh, your recorder is ready, time recorder for time period is ready, you have to set off the length 0.5 meter, okay? So let me set it up, it is 0.5 meter. Let me, let me measure by using this ruler. If I measure it, it is 0 0.5 meter, right? Which is 50 centimeter. I'm okay. So uh, let me displace this one up to 4 degree. Don't go beyond 5 degree. If you wanted to uh, displace by 4 degree, set up 4 degree. If you wanted to 5 degree, you can go for 5, but don't go beyond 5 because this formula we will see at the beginning of this lab is for a small angles only. It is valid for small angle, not for big angles, okay? So once I set off the oscillation, here is the period, right? We stop it and that's what you need. One data from here, which is L1, 0 0.5, and the period is this one, okay? We can write it down here. Go down to the table, this is the table, right? So let me write down here. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meter, and period T1 is 1.4189 second, right? That's what there. So once you, you get one data, go back, I can't go back without clearing this window. That's why I'm clearing, okay? But, but just remember our value was that. So you can repeat it again, seven times, same thing. Click on here. Okay, again, you get same number. Again, you can repeat it. Let me repeat it again with same, same, same angle. right? You are getting same number. So that is your period. So why you are measuring uh, several times? Because uh, since you are getting same number each time, why you are measuring several times? Because this is the virtual lab. We are getting exact the same number. But if you are doing lab in on-ground mode using actual physical instrument, you cannot set up exact angle like four degree or there are many other causes of errors because of that, you know, value will be different. So we have to get the average of all those values. That's why you have to repeat it. Okay, that's, that's the way to do experiment. Once you have all the values, I mean seven values here in first column, you can get the average. You know how to get average, right? Get all these seven values, get the sum of all these seven values and divide by seven. That is your average period right here. So right now, uh, we, we, we get the same number each time. That's why average will be exactly same, like the individual number, right? Eight, nine. This is what we our average is. And our length uh, for this period is 0 0.5. This is T, capital T, right? And our L was, L was 0 0.5 meter, right? 5 meter, okay? So that is, that was our numbers. So once you have a average period and a length, you can use this formula, right? Let me write down this formula in the format of what we need, right? We have to find a Z. So to find a Z, I can write down four pi square L divided by T square. Let me calculate for this value. If I calculate it again, let me use my calculator. Uh, value of pi is 3.14 squared 
into 4 and into 0.5 which is L and divided by 1.4 uh, for one square, right? T square. If I do it, I'm getting something, you know, write down your value. Don't use my value. I'm getting like 9.79 meter per second square, right? So this is the right unit, meter per second square, acceleration due to gravity, the, the unit of uh, acceleration, okay? So, you know, our value is closer to 9.8, we are doing good. If your value is far from 9.8, like if you get 10 or if you get 6 or 7, there is something wrong. You have to check back your data, everything, okay? So, this is the first, first, first thing you have to do. Now, in second column, you just have to repeat same thing again. So, to do that, let me show how to do it, right? Just increase the value of length, increase the length simply, which is 0 0.7. And again, see how much will be the period, right? It is 1.6787. So notice the difference. When you set this length as half meter, 0 0.5 meter, period was 1.4189, right? Second. Right now, this period is increased, 1.6787. So from, from this, you learn that period of the simple pendulum depends on its length, right? So this is for second column. You can repeat for seven times. And again, there is the third column. You can look at here, third column, which is T3. And for T3, you have to set up period as one meter, uh, I mean length is one meter. Right now it is one meter, it should be. Let me measure it. Yes, it is exactly one meter. And if you click it here and it displace by four degree, four degree and set into oscillation, you get the period again. Right now, our period is two second, right? If you calculate the, uh, the acceleration due to gravity by using this formula again, you will get value for this column, right? So this is your estimated value of Z. And for percentage difference, you already use how to uh, use the percentage difference formula. So I'm not uh, going to explain again from first or second experiment, you know how to use percentage difference formula. Okay, so in this way, you can find, you can measure the acceleration due to gravity, which is Z, okay? After doing experiment, you have to conclude this experiment. So uh, what happened when you change the length of the pendulum? Is there any changes in periods or any changes in value of Z? What had happened? You can explain here and you can also explain sources of error error why you are not getting exactly 9.8 and you know if you you launch something else you also can explain all those things okay i hope you get how to uh, uh, do this lab if you have any more question you can direct me